Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Friday, November 18th, 2016. And this is a re-upload of my earlier video with a little bit of extra content in the middle. Looking at Steve Olson's claims in his latest video, Moon Tilt is Going Crazy. We look at the topic of field rotation. Let's have a listen to Steve Olson's video. So this is February 21st, 2013, and this is the moon from Rockford, Wisconsin. This is an astronomer that has been studying the moon himself for a long time. Okay, This is the moon, uh, same day, same, or I'm sorry, uh, in November of 2016, and a similar you know, moon. And what he's, in terms of lit, the area of the moon being lit, this is slightly uh, almost full, this is full. But basically the tilt that was analyzed using his, you know, by calculating the movement of all of these different objects, he figured a 65 degree tilt from Rockford, Michigan. Now, if that wasn't disturbing enough, we end up with, in one day period, 110 degrees so we swung another almost 50 degrees in one day from the 12th to the 13th and that is just a little bit disconcerting um no it's not disconcerting at all uh, not when you actually know what you're looking at and not when you actually know what you're talking about and this guy obviously isn't an astronomer otherwise he would know what he's looking at and he would know what he's talking about i've already covered this sort of thing before and years gone by talking about the rotation of a moon and what causes it. There are a couple of things that come into play. One is called field rotation which is a result of the moon crossing the sky. Now unless you're using an equatorial mount telescope which compensates for the field rotation, yes the moon is going to appear to rotate as it goes across the sky. Now, I'm going to demonstrate that in, in one of my past videos in just a moment. The other thing that's going to affect the apparent angle of the moon is your latitude. And many people are aware that the moon appears to be upside down when viewed from the southern hemisphere compared to when viewed from the northern hemisphere. The familiar constellation of Orion is now back in the night sky. And we're going to use Orion to demonstrate field rotation as the constellation of Orion crosses the sky from east to west. Now I've set my location to Fort Worth, Texas in the United States so that we've got a northern hemisphere view for all of the people in the United States and elsewhere in the northern hemisphere. And you can see that I've got the date set to 18th of November 2016. Time is set to 9.16, that's daylight saving time, so it may be an hour earlier. But anyway, let's run this forward. This is running forward at faster than normal speed. And let's have a look at Orion, the hunter, and see which way he is pointing. At the moment, he is pointing this way. Uh, he's not straight up and down. He's sort of pointed off to the left. And our view will be as if we're standing on the ground with our feet flat on the ground, facing Orion, and swiveling around, following Orion as he crosses the sky. So let's go ahead and watch what happens. So we can see that he's still pointing towards the left. Now he's almost upright. We're upright now. And now he's tilting over to the right. And as we head down to the west, we see that Orion is now leaning to the right. So we're now into the daylight sky. This is 8.32 a.m. daylight saving time or 7.32 standard time. And we can see that Orion is leaning over to the right. So if we go right back to PM and then just bring that forward, we see that he's leaning to the left and at 8 a.m. he's leaning to the right. And this is due to field rotation, which is the same thing that affects the moon as it crosses the sky. How do you like them apples, Steve? So let's take a look at this video that I uploaded a couple of years ago explaining field rotation of the moon. This is my video, Has Nibiru Caused the Moon to Tilt on Its Axis? And when did I upload this video? I uploaded that on November the 9th, 2011. 
five years ago when people were saying back then that Nibiru Planet X was causing the moon to tilt on its axis five years ago. So without further ado, let's take a look at the video. Hello, in this video we're going to look at the claims made in many YouTube videos that the moon has strangely tilted or rotated on its axis in a way that it should not be. This is explained quite simply when we consider that the moon rises in the east, travels across the sky and sets in the west. In the northern hemisphere the moon will cross over in the southern sky and in the southern hemisphere the moon will cross over in the northern sky. I am in the southern hemisphere. Let's have a look at this video of this Concorde aircraft flying across the sky from east to west as if we are looking north. This is the sort of view that we would have from the southern hemisphere if we were comparing it to the moon. Let's take another look and we'll take some photos this time as the aircraft fly over. Pointing north east. Pointing north. And pointing northwest. Now let's take a look at our photos. We can see now that the angle that the aircraft are pointing in our photographs are quite different in each photo. And in exactly the same way we will see that the moon appears to change its angle as it travels across the sky. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to check the description box for a link to our discussion page. Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. Thank you. So back to Steve Olson's fear-mongering video. November 17, moon tilt is going crazy. I have no doubt in my mind now that Steve Olson and company, that they know exactly what they're doing with their fear-mongering. They know that they are presenting absolute nonsense. I cannot give Steve Olson the benefit of the doubt that maybe he was sincere and that he really believed what he is presenting because it seems now that he's just laughing his head off at his subscribers, at his viewers, who lap up all of this nonsense, and keep clicking on his videos and pushing up his YouTube earnings and buying his t-shirts and subscribing to his subscriber-only content and all of that sort of thing. He's laughing all the way to the bank. He's laughing in your faces. So I would welcome a live interview, a live debate, discussion with Steve Olson, either on his channel or on mine. Let's get together Steve and let's discuss your claims one to one. Let's take a look at the various images that you would like to present and let's talk about them. Now you said in a previous video that the debunkers would, would never take you on in a live debate because you said their handlers can't control them. Well, I don't have a handler, but I'm more than happy to engage in a live debate with you, Steve Olson. So you just name the time and the place, and we'll set up a, a live debate, and we can discuss your claims and these images. I will also be following through with what I said earlier, that I will be setting up a live YouTube Hangout where you will be invited along with plenty of notice and uh, you know if you don't turn up for the hangout well that's because you didn't have the testicular fortitude to show up and defend your claims. And of course the Steve Olson clock of shame is already ticking. It's already been four weeks and seven hours since I first put out the challenge to Steve Olson to front up to me in a live debate and the clock is still counting and it will continue to count until Steve Olson finally fronts up for a live debate with me to discuss his claims. I've been debunking this sort of nonsense for five and a half years now and there's not too many topics especially astronomy related that I haven't covered already. So please check out my playlist, I'll put a link in the description area and uh, you can check out the different videos where I've debunked uh, different YouTubers um, such as BP Earthwatch, Dark Sky Watcher 74, Secure Team, Donnie Serpico, 
the Zero Zero Skyview team, and many others. We've seen it all before. It's all the same old nonsense, fear-mongering rubbish that's been rehashed year after year after year. And people seem to have short memories and they keep saying that Nibiru Planet X is coming next week, next month, next year. And they seem to forget that these videos have been debunked year after year after year. And I fully expect that Steve Olson may well still be making these nonsense videos in another five years. And still laughing in the faces of his gullible subscribers. As always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.